In this interfacing experiment, uh, first uh, we will see how to interface 8051 to an LCD, uh, LCD display. Basically, we have to use the scale microvision software to uh, write our assembly level program or a C program. And uh, for this interfacing part, since uh, you are not having the hardware kit with you guys, so I am giving you an alternate option that is uh, to simulate the same circuit using multi-SIM software. Okay, so you need now two softwares. One is multi-SIM software and one is scale microvision. And this multi-SIM as well as scale microvision are uh, uh, available for uh, evaluation uh, freely. Uh, you can download the scale software from a uh, keel website. I will just show you the website here. So the, from the scale website, when you go there, uh, you will be uh, going to the download section and you can uh, click on the C51 and you can give your details and you will get an email link to download the C uh, Keel software. So once you download the Keel software, uh, you can uh, use this uh, Keel software you will be getting here. Uh, so I will just enable that Keel Microvision 5. So you just open that and uh, you create your project or programs using this software. And uh, in order to uh, create the circuits, the real circuits uh, which is to be simulated, uh, we will be using a multi-SIM software. So multi-SIM software also can be downloaded directly from the website. So if you search for multi-SIM, it will take you to the National Instrument website. So when you go to the NA software downloads page, you will be uh, getting a multi-SIM 14.2 education version. Here you can uh, download. Uh, it will uh, ask you to create a account so you can give your uh, email ID and password and create an account. Once you create the account, you will uh, it will take you to the downloads page and you can download it there. Uh, by default, it will give you only seven days uh, uh, free period, but you can extend this for 45 days and that is more than sufficient for uh, our evaluation. So this is legally you can download the uh, multi-SIM software from. So once you download this multi-SIM software, you will be able to uh, open, uh, uh, you will be getting this multi-SIM software in your desktop or a laptop. So you can just click on this multi-SIM. So here uh, in my demonstration, I am using uh, multi-SIM 14.0. Uh, you are getting a 14.2 version and it is equally uh, uh, compatible. So once you open this multi-SIM 14.0, uh, you will be getting uh, uh, your uh, default setup like this. Uh, once you downloaded the multi-SIM software, the next step is to uh, create the circuit. So in order to create the circuit, uh, uh, we will first uh, place the component on this uh, uh, environment here. Uh, the component what we are going to place is a, a microcontroller MCU uh, 8051. So you can just click on this place MCU. You can see the uh, cursor here place MCU it will give you the available option so what we need is 8051 microcontroller so when I type 8051 in this component it will show this one component here so just press OK and place this component it will ask you uh, uh, some of the workspace name to be given and also be very clear where are you saving this uh, workspace so it is coming under documents national instruments uh, circuit design suite 14.0 MCU workspaces so here is the location and I will give you uh, a file name maybe LCD uh, interface okay LCD underscore interface is the uh, workspace name I am giving uh, once I uh, give the workspace name press next and it will ask you certain uh, uh, setup here so what we will be doing since we are using our uh, uh, program written in a keel software uh, we are going to select instead of the standard project type you will select external hex file uh, if you are using standard project type then there is also one provision inside this uh, multi sim itself we can type your program uh, there is a provision but right now let me uh, explain you how to use the keel software to write the program and then use that hex file for uh, simulating the entire setup so i will select external file uh, external hex file 
and uh, I am going to use uh, C programming in uh, this explanation. So let it be C only, and I will give you a I will give a project name. I can give any name here. Let me uh, go ahead with the same name what I have given for the workspace LCD interface. Once this is done, press next, and uh, we will create an empty project and finish. Okay. So uh, then close this window because it is asking for the next component to be placed. Uh, if you see this is the microcontroller is already placed here. So now we know we need to have a basic setup of this microcontroller to work. That is the crystal as well as the power supply. So uh, we will uh, uh, create that setup. So this circuit uh, uh, if you see uh, you have your um, uh, port connections as well as your um, uh, power on reset as well as crystal so let me take this crystal connection first so I will place this crystal component so I will take the crystal component from uh, uh, multi sim so I will go to the MCU I will do the uh, I will find out where is this crystal first uh, okay you can see crystal here and uh, let us use uh, something around 11 megahertz uh, crystal okay I'm going to use this one so I pr place place uh, place the crystal first. Once I place the crystal, uh, next thing I will uh, uh, take the two capacitors. Uh, I will uh, go to place component, and uh, instead of all groups, I will go to the basic circuit availability here. Uh, there is a capacitor available, yes, and uh, I will use this 33 picofarad capacitor for that. And uh, I need a uh, two set capacitors, so I will uh, click once again and place this capacitor what i will do is this i will directly connect this reset to the ground because we don't require that so uh, anyway uh, we will take the power uh, circuitry so i will just go to the sources here and uh, the power sources i will select the vcc and keep here and also i will select the ground and keep it somewhere here down and uh, so that part is done uh, i think this is the basic setup required so reset i will directly connect to them okay so and uh, once uh, this is connected so the next step is to i need uh, to place the lcd panel you can see there is an lcd panel so the 16 by 2 lcd panel i will take it so to place the lcd panel you have to go to the advanced peripherals place advanced peripherals there lcds are there under the LCD 16 by 2 LCD I am going to select okay so this is the LCD so I will place that also okay now once I place this I will now establish the connections so I will just uh, take you to the I will just organize it first then uh, you can see what I am doing I need the crystal, so I just rotate it once. Or, uh, rotate 90 degree clockwise. Control R, right? Yeah. And uh, this is fine. Let me here. Control R, it will rotate once. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Control R. I press to rotate it. So, yes, this is there. And uh, I have to take the connection from the crystal and connect it to here. Uh, crystal 1, this part I will connect here. Okay. And I will take uh, one side of the capacitor, connect to the one side of the crystal. This is basically required to avoid the uh, noise effect. We will generally uh, use a capacitor filter to ground the any noise effect so that the frequency coming out of this crystal oscillator will be uh, perfect okay and uh, VCC I will just take and connect it to the VCC will just little uh, zoom it so that it is more clear and uh, the ground I will just connect to ground here okay and uh, as I told you the reset also I will uh, uh, connect directly to the ground so that uh, it is not going to reset and these two sides of the capacitor I will take it and connect it to the uh, ground ok sorry yes uh, so the basic uh, setup is ready now 
that means the minimum setup required to make this uh, microcontroller work that is the crystal oscillator and the uh, power supply okay so this setup is ready now fine so now uh, the next step is to uh, connect the lcd to the uh, controller so uh, since uh, my this side i am using uh, this side we have port 0 and port 2 so let me directly use that instead of going to port 1 and uh, other things uh, let me uh, connect this uh, uh, vcc to the vcc itself yes vcc to vcc and uh, uh, contrast control that is also i will connect directly to vcc and the ground let it go to the ground itself and now the uh, p0.0 i will connect to the register select pin in micro in the uh, lcd and uh, p0.1 i will take and connect to the read write pin and uh, p0.2 i will take and give to the enable pin and uh, the data pins of this lcd i will directly take from p2.0 to data d0 p2.1 to d1 p2.2 d2 let me complete this okay so that's done uh, since we are using this p0 to con uh, uh, connect to uh, enable rs and rw you need to use a, a pull up resistor because a port 0 requires pull up resistor to work that's what uh, we learned right uh, pull up resistor again i will take i will go to place component and uh, instead of advanced peripherals i will go to the uh, resistors um, that's a basic under basic uh, we have a, a resistor pack here yeah. resistor pack i will take and uh, we need basically uh, three pull up resistors so i will uh, take a uh, introducing isolated one i will take one uh, bust one yeah so this is the pull up resistor i will just rotate it and uh, place it down there okay so fine so my pull up resistor is ready uh, so i will uh, connect the one side of this resistor to vcc you can see top is vcc and other side of the resistor i will connect to each pins okay maybe i will connect this first then this one so uh, I will just uh, organize it separately. Anyway, I am connecting this one to the uh, RS. Then also I am connecting this one to RW. Okay. I will just organize it and uh, show you the niche diagram. So we have made the pull-up resistor also ready. So our circuit setup is now ready. So in this circuit setup, now I am going to uh, download my code into this. Uh, microcontroller so our code i am going to prepare in the keel software okay so once the circuit is ready i will save it okay while saving uh, it will ask for uh, the multi sim uh, file name so what i will give you i will just um, give lcd underscore interface that's a file name i am going to give okay uh, once i have given the file name Okay, you can see that here okay microcontroller lcd interface so everything is done properly okay so now what next we will do is we will just minimize it and uh, go to the kill software so i just uh, organized the circuit a little more neatly here you can see the circuit the same circuit uh, what i was explaining so just organized it here and uh, now uh, as i told you we will go to the uh, kill software so we will open the kill software and we will write our program okay so what we will do is uh, we will go to the project the new microvision project and here uh, i will create the project name okay so the project name which i am going to uh, give here maybe i will give it as lcd uh, underscore interface okay so fine i will save it while saving it will ask which microcontroller you wanted to use 
so we are using 8051 uh, variation so uh, what is available here is 89s51 89s51 I will select that's an 8051 based microcontroller you can see the description here so uh, remember I am taking 89s51 and press ok so it will ask whether to copy the startup code uh, generally we don't require this I will press no and the project is now created so on this project I will type my code I will create a new file then uh, type your code then while saving make sure that LCD 3 give the extension so this is it this is a C file my extension is dot C and you can see uh, once the main once you save it this uh, color of this code the syntax color coloring will happen now it is completely black and black text so once I save it, you can see the syntax coloring has happened to this program. Okay, so our code is ready now. Now, uh, once the code is ready, what we will do, we will save it and then attach this code to the project. So I will right click on this source group, okay. add existing file because already we have created this lcd3.c. So add existing file to the group, source group one. So I will select lcd3 and add then close so now you can see under this project source group we can get this lcd3 and uh, now i will explain this program uh, then uh, i will take you to the downloading and uh, uh, the actual working of this in this program what we are doing is we are uh, uh, displaying uh, a set of characters the characters are bms it virtual lab so this is what we are displaying okay so in order to display this uh, we need to first send certain commands and then we need to uh, uh, send this character so the entire process I will explain so what first line I am using this reg51 uh, header file I am including because some of the definitions like this p0 p0 is uh, defined in uh, reg 51h so something like that so all such definitions are available in this header file so if we are including this header file, then we can directly use this kind of terminologies. P0.0, we can use it because it is defined in the header file. Once it is defined, once it is included, the next thing I will declare uh, three variables, four variables basically. Uh, uh, first one is RS. RS stands for register select. If you go through the theory of this uh, LCD, uh, you can see what is the register select because LCD has got two registers command register and data register the selection of this uh, registers are done using this register select pin in the uh, LCD panel if, if I take you to the circuit uh, there is an LCD panel in this LCD panel you have got one register select pin so if this pin is 0 it will select the command register if this pin is 1 it will select the data register and we can either read or write to the selected registers and once it is selected we can latch the data in this data lines using this enable pin so this is the basic uh, uh, circuit basic signal requirement of uh, lcd so now uh, in order to define where exactly this rs is uh, connected if you take your uh, circuit diagram if you see this rs is connected to rs is connected to p0.0 p0.0 rw is connected to p0.1 and uh, enable is connected to p0.2 so that's what we are defining here also uh, we are uh, uh, selecting uh, we are we are declaring this rs as a as a single bit s bit is a uh, data type which is available in embedded c that is single bit okay uh, so s bit rs and rs is equal to what p0.0 because we are connecting uh, register selected p0.0 similarly rw is p0.1 and enable is p0.2 and also we now we will define port 2 as a lcd port so that means wherever in the program if i suppose here you can see lcd port i have written instead of p2 wherever i use lcd port it will be uh, it will be taken as port 2 itself so that part is done okay so once this is done 
the next thing uh, what i will do is i will just uh, uh, take you to four functions here so we have four functions defined one is send command function then send character or uh, send the data whatever the display whatever to be displayed so send character function and uh, one delay function is also there then one lcd init function there are four functions so send command and send character function is basically a two functions which will send whatever parameter we are passing to the command it will send to either command register or to the data register so let us now go to that function first a send command function and send character function so let, i will take you to the send command function and if you see uh, send command function this is the function okay in send command function so what we are doing is whatever the command to be set suppose in your main program you write like this send command 0x06 so that means 0x06 has to be sent to the command register so for that uh, what we need to do is uh, the register select pin has to be 0 to select the command register and we are sending or we are writing so it has to be rw has to be 0 and once this is done then we need to send a high to low pulse to the enable pin and that's what we are doing it in this command uh, function send command function similarly if you see send data or send character function here the only difference is instead of selecting the uh, command register we are selecting here the data register what's only difference is rs is 1 here here rs is 0 remaining steps are same uh, read, read write is 0 and enable is high to low okay then uh, we will call intermediate some delay at all uh, so these are the two functions now uh, coming to the delay if you see delay can be generated using a simple for loop so we have used a loop in a loop using for loop so just to create a delay and there is one more function in the main program if you see there is one more function called lcd init this function is used for initializing the lcd so in order to initialize the lcd there are four commands we need to send these commands if you see in the theory i have explained you uh, there are 18 commands for 8051 18 commands so if you see these are the commands okay this 18 commands in this 18 commands there are four commands which is required to initialize the lcd that is uh, command 38 then command 0e that is display on then if you want you can clear the screen by sending one and uh, you you can increment the cursor that means the display has to be uh, suppose if you are sending bms it b has to be displayed and in the next line next next cell the em has to be displayed right so it has to shift the cursor right so these are the four minimum required commands so that commands are sent in the initialization function you can see here so once you initialize the lcd uh, okay this is for initializing the lcd right then we will go to the main program i will explain you the main program now so i have taken you to the uh, main program so this is your main program okay so in this program what we are doing is uh, we will first uh, initialize this port 2 the lcd uh, port uh, port 2 as an output port by making the uh, port uh, the values as 00 so this is the first line then uh, we will initialize the lcd that means we will be sending that four commands uh, by initializing the lcd then we will also send one more command the command 80 okay this 80 command if you see in the uh, explanation of this command 80 stands for force the cursor to the beginning of the first line force the cursor to the beginning of the first line uh, what does that mean that means if you want to display uh, some characters the first character will be displayed in this first cell this first black cell right so this uh, 80 is the uh, uh, address location of this particular cell 81 means it will display in the next cell a2 this one 83 this one 84 is this one so let me centralize this and uh, keep it somewhere in the middle the first uh, thing so instead of 80 i want it to display somewhere in the middle let me take 80 or 85 85 i will use it so that the first letter will be displayed in the fifth uh, position that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 here it will display the first uh, letter 
and the second letter automatically will display into the next next position why because we are using this shift or uh, increment the cursor or shifting the cursor right side so since because of this one once the character is displayed the next character will display in the next cell okay so that is the reason we are sending the first command 85 to display the first letter in this okay so i will send this first command then i will wait for some time it can be uh, any delay or if you don't want a delay you can come in this line then we will go to the we will send the first character uh, that is b then next m then si so like that then next uh, after this uh, we will go to the next row next row means the bottom row this row the bottom row this top row we have displayed b m s i t and in the bottom row i am going to display the virtual lab okay so that virtual lab uh, since it is bottom row the bottom row address is c zero onwards the second line force the cursor to the beginning of the second line is c zero like eight zero we can select c zero so if you see here in the command uh, chords so c zero means force the cursor to the beginning of the second line so that's why we are using it and uh, in the second line i am sending this enter virtual lab also so this is the program so once you write this program you save it and please ensure that since we need to create a hex file to download that machine code into the uh, microcontroller which is there in this multi sim simulation environment what we will do is we will uh, have to create the hex file by going to flash configure flash tools output check this create hex file okay this create hex file has to be checked then press ok now once you uh, done all the uh, uh, setup ready next thing is you have to build the program so go to project and build target let us see whether any errors are there here so it doesn't have any errors in the program and also you can see just uh, creating hex file from the particular uh, 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 project and the hex file will be saved in this object folder okay so i will show you where is the hex file uh, if you go to the uh, c uh, if you see the the hex file will be there in this location you can see the project is there in this c users uh, my username then uh, documents then key right so let me directly go to documents then kill okay under that go to objects folder here this one go to objects folder and what is our project name uh, lcd underscore interface right so in the same project name there will be a hex file generated lcd underscore interface dot hex this is your uh, hex file if you open this using notepad you can see the actual machine code is what is this uh, your high level program you have written using C here okay this is your high level language what you have written and the same is converted to a machine code in this and now what you need to do is you need to uh, download or we need to dump this code into the microcontroller so you must remember where is the location of this code and once this is ready you need to go to the multi sim environment and uh, double click on your 8051 microcontroller okay uh, here go to the code tab okay go to the code tab click properties click on this LCD interface and go and browse where you have saved the uh, hex file you can see the hex file I remember it was saved in under documents keel objects LCD interface dot hex so click there press open and press ok one more ok so now the code is loaded on this 8051 microcontroller once this code is loaded what we need to do is we need to uh, run the uh, program we need to run this circuit in order to run this circuit what you need to do is you need to go to this uh, uh, play button on the top and press run so once you run it 
you can see the display is happening the display is turned on cursor is moving and it is displaying the bmsit virtual lab so this is the program okay so now uh, i will stop here and if i need to do some editing so since uh, right now i have used this uh, uh, display to be happening under the middle in the middle here so i will just change this program slightly so that you will know if you need to do any changes in the program what you should do okay so stop running go back to your keel software whatever editing you want to do it there so let me make it in the beginning of the program and maybe i will just uh, create some more delay okay and uh, between each letter also i will create some more delay save it after saving after editing you just save it and then just build it or rebuild it once you rebuild then go back to your main program and just run no need to do anything just run you change it there create the hex file just run it okay so now you can see the program is modified and that modification is now available so this is how you will be uh, generating uh, this is how you will be displaying a character or set of characters in an lcd using multisim and keel software thank you